Hello, and welcome to another installment of The Psychology of Better Call Saul, a series which attempts to understand the many psychological motivations of the characters in this television show. In this episode, I am going to take a closer look at the character of Chuck McGill and his condition, which was an essential part of his storyline since the beginning of the series. Chuck's condition was fairly ambiguous throughout, oscillating between the idea of being a medical or a mental health condition. In the end, it is never clearly stated what was wrong with Chuck, but in this episode, I'm going to make an attempt to gain a clearer understanding. Chuck described his condition on more than one instance as an allergy to electricity. He states that certain devices emit electromagnetic fields, and the closer they are, the worse his symptoms become. Despite his insistence on this opinion, there seems to be no record of this type of condition, and the doctors can't confirm it as existing either. In addition, although he and Jimmy claim that the condition is purely medical, it is implied throughout the show that it might be psychogenic in nature. The theory I am postulating is that his condition was originated as a response to suppression of particular feelings and emotions, coupled with the inability to hold simultaneous, contradictory feelings about other people. These deficiencies seem to be what lead to the physical symptoms which apparently derive from electricity. It seems that Chuck is unable to tolerate certain emotional states, which in turn causes him to experience pain from external sources. With this theory in mind, let's look at the possible supporting evidence. In Season 1, Episode 8, Jimmy is at the starting point of the Stan Piper case and has collected shredded documents for proof of the crimes against the residents. Jimmy is putting the documents together and falls asleep, which is followed by Chuck stepping in and putting everything together. During this time, he also begins analyzing the case and thinking about what Jimmy will need for preparation materials. Chuck seems to be invigorated by his actions and the possibilities. Not only is he doing law work again, something he hasn't done for nearly a year and a half, but he is also helping Jimmy out. He seems to be connecting with feelings which have become foreign for him over recent years. Near the end of the episode, Chuck is feeling good about where the case is headed, and without thinking, he goes outside to get the newspaper without any protection. He and Jimmy proceed to sit on the bench together outside with little to no effect on Chuck's pain. It seems that Chuck's ability to refocus on the law, something which was stimulated by long dormant feelings, has allowed him to not be affected by the normally harmful rays of the sun. Repressed emotions can also factor into mental health conditions such as stress, anxiety, and depression. These issues can often cause physical symptoms including muscle tension and pain, nausea and digestive problems, appetite changes, fatigue, and sleep problems. In Season 3, Episode 5, we see a flashback scene where Chuck is attempting to construct his house so that he doesn't need to use electricity. Rebecca is supposed to come over for dinner with Chuck, and he doesn't want her to know about the development of his condition. During dinner, Chuck and Rebecca are connecting and seem to be hitting it off well. She even mentions that she is getting tired of working on the road and wants to return to living in one place. Just then, her cell phone rings, and she begins speaking with the conductor of her work. Chuck seemingly begins to feel the pain due to the cell phone, but within the framework of this theory, it seems possible that the pain is due to the fact that Rebecca is turning her attention away from Chuck, just when they seem to be connecting. She begins speaking about her tour and associated plans, events that obviously don't involve Chuck. Meanwhile, Chuck begins to feel more intense pain. At a certain point, he can't take it any longer, and he slaps the phone out of her hand. Chuck can't seem to stand the fact that he may be experiencing negative feelings towards Rebecca, which do not align with how he has viewed her in the past. He may be angry or frustrated with her, but he will not let himself express or feel these emotions. Chuck seems to be engaging in splitting, a psychological defense mechanism in which differing views of a person cannot be tolerated, so instead, one sees the person in all-or-nothing, black-and-white terms. Instead of integrating the new feelings for Rebecca, he suppresses them and feels them as pain from electricity instead. When Jimmy tries to get Chuck to talk to her about his feelings, 
we see Chuck's face and how distressful it is for him to consider this act. Emotional suppression, for example, consists of inhibiting the outward signs of your inner feelings. Professionals in high-stress jobs, doctors, police, military, are often taught that emotional suppression is an effective strategy for emotional regulation, in spite of plentiful research suggesting otherwise. Studies have shown that suppressing emotions actually endangers your health and well-being, both physically and psychologically. Emotional suppression, having a stiff upper lip or sucking it up, might decrease outward expressions of emotion, but not the inner emotional experience. In other words, suppression doesn't make the emotion go away. It just stays inside you, causing more pain. In the same episode, Chuck is on the stand for the case against Jimmy. When Jimmy inquires about his condition, Chuck admits the symptoms began shortly after he was divorced from Rebecca. Chuck says about Jimmy, He knows I still have a a lot of feeling for my ex-wife. He's hoping this will break me down. Split me apart at the seams like a murderer confessing on an episode of Perry Mason. When asked to describe his condition further, Chuck describes the sensation as tightness in the chest, difficulty breathing, and pain all over. The symptoms he describes sound more like what would occur from a panic attack, which is itself categorized as a mental health condition. Although the cause of panic attacks is unknown, it is generally accepted that they occur as a response to major life transitions, like being divorced. The feeling of someone experiencing a panic attack can also be described as attempting to escape a situation in which you feel endangered. Is it possible that when Chuck experiences these symptoms that in fact his suppressed feelings are attempting to make their way to the surface, and he in turn feels unable to escape as if he is in a dangerous position? Later in the scene, Chuck explodes in a tirade about his family history when his condition is exposed. We hear him bring his parents into the conversation in which he expresses his dissatisfaction with the way they never made Jimmy take responsibility for his actions. In other scenes of the show, Chuck seems to view his parents in an overly idealized way, despite the fact that they seem to have made many mistakes in life. But when his condition is exposed, his repressed emotions about his parents come to the surface. This is another example of Chuck engaging in splitting in which he does not allow himself to hold contradictory feelings about others, tending to hold a one-sided view as opposed to seeing people on a wider spectrum. In Season 3, Episode 8, Chuck is doing a therapy session at his home with a doctor who previously treated him at the hospital. He seems to be doing much better in terms of his sensitivity to electricity and is describing the lessening of his pain. When the doctor asks him about his future plans, He speaks in length about the things he wants for his life and his interest in increased friendships. I'm going to get these lights turned back on. I want this house to be full of music. I want to have a dinner party. Oh, hell, no. Great big celebration. I want 100 people in here spilling out onto the lawn. I want caterers and a full bar. I want to be surrounded by friends and colleagues. We see him speaking with passion and excitement in his voice. He is connecting back to emotions he may have been cut off from for an extended period of time, feelings he hasn't experienced since before his condition began. We also see him going to the grocery store and attempting to make practical changes in his life. As his condition improves, he is attempting to reconnect to life and associated feelings. Unfortunately, this state does not last long for Chuck. And in the following episode of Season 3, Episode 9, Howard informs him that HHM will be laying him off due to all the issues that have come up over the course of the season. Howard later goes to Chuck's house when he learns that Chuck is planning on suing HHM. Howard is shocked by this move and can't understand the reasoning, primarily because the two of them have always been so close. Chuck is stone-faced in this scene and doesn't want to have a civil conversation with Howard. Even though he's upset with Howard, He is allowing his anger to take control, instead of allowing in any contrary positive feelings. They were the best of friends a few days ago, but Chuck is now making Howard his enemy. When Howard leaves the house, we see Chuck display great pain due to the use of an electric blender. 
Once again, we see that when Chuck disconnects from certain feelings and tries to push them down and not handle them directly, the pain he experiences from electricity tends to worsen. Essentially, if you try to push away a thought on some topic, you will end up having more thoughts about that topic. The same effect happens when you try to push away emotional thoughts. If you frequently try to push away thoughts and feelings, you may be making more trouble for yourself. In fact, it's possible that this is setting up a vicious cycle. You have a painful emotion, you try to push it away. This leads to more painful emotions, which you try to push away, and so on. In Season 3, Episode 10, Chuck has just told Jimmy that he never really cared for him, a decision which Chuck seems to be making as a way to end their relationship permanently. Similarly with what happened with Howard, Chuck seems to be taking one-sided views on his relationships with others and looking at things in black and white terms. He is upset with Jimmy, and rightly so, but instead of trying to look at their relationship as a whole, he is pushing away the contradictory emotions and focusing only on the ones that are presently at hand. Chuck is once again taking a polar stance on his feelings, and denying what might be hiding underneath. What he has said to Jimmy is a complete fabrication of how he feels, and we later see how it makes a critical impact on Chuck. Later that night, he is unable to sleep and gets up to begin looking through the house. For the rest of the episode, we see Chuck digging through the walls and floorboards, attempting to locate where the electricity might be coming from. He feels pain, so he figures that there must be some electricity somewhere in the house. The problem is that the pain is not resulting from the house, it's resulting from his own disordered psyche. The origination is not external, it's completely internal. As we see him digging through the house, tearing out wires and appliances from top to bottom, it is symbolical of a broken man searching through his mind, trying to find the thing which is causing so much suffering. He is trying to find what's buried deep within his unconscious, what is the underlying cause for this thing he cannot get rid of. He has a glimmer of an idea that the problem is due to something he hasn't considered. When he is unable to locate the source of his pain, he looks like someone who has been utterly defeated. He realizes that despite his completely rational and logical way of thinking, the way of being that has gotten him everything he has worked so hard for in life, he was unable to understand the other part of himself that is just as important, the irrational aspect of emotions and feelings. Staring at the camping lantern, he decides to choose death as opposed to further attempts to deal with his interpersonal relationships and the ever painful feelings that come along with them. Finally, in Season 4, Episode 10, we see a flashback scene to a karaoke party for when Jimmy first received his law license. Ernie is on stage and singing the song, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Not only is Jimmy beginning to experience an eclipse of his heart at the end of Season 4, as he is denying all feelings for Chuck following his death, but Chuck seemed to be the one who guided him towards his path. As we have just learned that the denial of his own heart seems to be the cause for his eventual downfall. At the end of the scene, Chuck tucks Jimmy into bed and they lay down, singing a song that they sang together earlier in the night. They both loved each other immensely, but were in denial of that love when things did not go as they had planned. This concludes this installment from the series on Better Call Saul. Please watch my other videos regarding other characters if you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching.